Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. With season five coming up here in just a few days, we know we are going to see plenty of different meta adjustments and weapon changes. And today I wanted to focus on sort of the medium and the long range metas because they sort of overlap here and there with things like the AS44, the Nikita, the Cooper, all being sort of like those mid range beasts. But then we got things like the KGM 40, the STG and the UGM that are all fantastic for long range. You could also use some of those for mid range as well. And we know there's going to be tuning to several of these weapons because they are dominant as it stands. So today I wanted to preview what to expect expect with this sort of long range meta the first thing that i think absolutely is going to happen is some changes to the kgm 40 and i say that because when we go ahead and we look at warzone ranked here it is the second most popular weapon in the game right now just behind the armagera don't worry we're gonna be talking about the close range meta here in the next few days as well previewing that that's an entirely different conversation i wanted to separate these to make it a bit easier to digest but it's got a high kd a high win rate and a high pick rate that is the perfect storm for weapon nerfs as we've talked about in the past or even oftentimes looks towards things like that and they've said in the past they don't want the low recoil weapons to be the only options and despite the kg having a slightly slower ttk than some other choices it is just so easy that it's realistic ttk ends up being one of the better ones in the game when we go ahead and we look at true game data here i have a list of all these main rifles and how they compare to one another the kgm 40 the stg the bar the xm4 the vargo the ugm you'll notice the kgm 40s ttk our orange line here not necessarily anything that impressive right like through the first 33 meters it's relatively competitive with some other choices but then after that damage drop off it's not anything flashy but because it just shoots so straight no visual recoil very easy pattern to master with certain attachments on there it ends up having a much better ttk than these other options over range so that I feel like is a clear no-brainer. It's probably going to be nerfed. Now, what's after that? In my opinion, the STG would take its place as that top rifle if we don't see the STG also adjusted. They could end up adding in some more recoil to the STG and the KG and sort of knock out two birds with one stone there because both of them perform very similar. And you can see the STG here actually a better choice over range on our combination shots. Real quick, before we continue this breakdown, just want to remind you guys, if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that sub button, turn on those post notifications every single day i got you covered with everything going on in cod and also right now my g fuel discount code immortal is boosted to get you 30 percent off your entire order so if you want to grab anything in time for season five now is the best time to do so take advantage of that increased discount but stg and kgm 40 could be two potential big changes their big swings and what's the meta rifles but if only one of them gets nerfed and the one would be the kgm 40 uh there's no reality where the stg gets nerfed and the kg doesn't uh the stg would be next in line there but another weapon that i've got my eye on that is a sleeper weapon it's a very low pick rate on warzone ranked it's about 0.7 percent it's the ugm8 look at the ttk folks that's all i gotta say combination shots over range nothing's beating the ung ugm the letters are hard it's it's ridiculous how strong this thing is low recoil ridiculous ttk over range but it's not being picked a ton so i'm curious to see if they maybe want to try and get out ahead of it because it is so strong if they don't though the ugm also going to continue to be a top top choice with that insane ttk another thing that you might notice here is that the xm4 and the vargo their ttks are right in the middle here super super competitive but obviously they're being used a lot less than some of these other choices the kg the stg the bar etc the problem with the xm4 and the vargo is while their ttks are so good over range you have to work more because the optics aren't as ideal this has been a problem for multiple seasons now i made a whole video dedicated to this a few weeks back actually talking about how the three to six times optic on the vanguard rifles and the lmgs for that matter is what is ruining the meta if you were to either add in an optic or change the optics on the cold war and modern warfare weapons to make them behave like the three to six or you just add a lot more visual recoil to the three to six times optic on vanguard guns you would have a much more balanced meta where you would see a higher pick rate on the XM4, the Vargo, the Farah, etc. But that optic change just makes the Vanguard guns so much easier and so strong at 200 meters that there's no point in using an XM4 or a Vargo because you're going to miss more shots having to work harder with these at 50 meters than you would a KG or an STG. It just is. Everyone's going to take the path of least resistance. And right now, Vanguard optics are that path of least resistance. Now, as I mentioned here on our tier list, we also have that sort of mid-range meta where, yes, you could be using the STG and the KG and some 
UGM in there too for some mid-range fights. They're obviously going to be a little bit slower because they're not the most aggressive rifles. That would instead go towards the AS-44 and the Volk and the Cooper and the Nikita. But the thing is, those are weapons that basically are exclusive for mid-range. And while they have ridiculous TTKs, we all know the AS-44 is just a monster anywhere you're shooting. They are difficult to use, more difficult to use, I should say. AS-44 and Nikita don't have great recoil patterns. Most players are not comfortable with that. They don't end up using them. The Volk's damage per mag and its mag capacity are a little bit underwhelming, so it doesn't get a ton of attention. The Cooper, on the other hand, no recoil, great for mid-range. I would not be surprised if we saw some Cooper nerfs or maybe even some slight buffs to maybe the Volk or the Nikita or the AS-44's recoil to make it a little bit more in line with the Cooper to add some more competition in there. But I would not be surprised if we saw the Cooper adjusted in some way, shape, or form because that to me is sort of the standout rifle in terms of that mid-range niche. And then the last thing I want to talk about here is our new rifle, the EX-1 prototype energy weapon. It's an, it's an effective weapon at long range and it's highly customized. We all know new weapons, especially Vanguard weapons, are very, very dominant in the meta when they drop for quite some time. Happened with the Blixen, the Armagera. We've seen it time and time again with various different weapons from the Vanguard content season, whether they are battle pass guns or whether they are mid-season guns, they're usually top tier meta. So as far as what to look out for, the EX-1 would be one of those guns that has a lot of potential, especially because it's a weapon that we've never seen before, very unique. It'd be very silly of them not to go all in and promote the heck out of it by making it a very strong weapon and getting players to want to level up their battle pass, unlock it, grind it out, rank it up, get all the attachments, and then drop in a caldera with it so they can see just how powerful it is. It would not surprise me at all if the EX-1, the EM-1 basically from Advanced Warfare is a little bit too broken at launch, and then maybe a week later, week and a half later, it receives a slight nerf. Now, of course, these are just all my educated assumptions based off of what they've done in the past with weapon adjustments, based off of what we already know about some of these weapons as is. There's also going to be plenty of secret weapon tuning, mysterious weapon tuning that sort of comes out of the blue that is a surprise. We could see buffs to random weapons here and there, nerfs to random weapons here and there. Potentially, we see some Cold War and uh, in Modern Warfare buffs because it is the final season and Vanguard's on its way out. We'll have to see for those, but based off of the, uh, you know, very blatant, obvious uh, stats that we have on some of these top meta weapons, those are the ones that I would keep an eye out for, for potentially getting some nerfs, seeing some changes here and there. Once the full patch notes drop, though, you guys already know I will have you covered with all of those. But that's going to wrap things up for this one. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you are new to the channel or if you have not already subscribed, every single day, I got you covered with everything going on in Call of Duty. News, updates, loadouts, tips, you name it, it is all right here. So feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.